Hi, good morning. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. We've got something different for you today. Yes, um, something slightly different, haven't we? Yeah, so the company that we use to get our work done on our motorhome for a warranty, we thought we'd come down and show you what else they do. Yeah, because they actually do, not only do they do the engine side of things, which is on a different workshop close by, they do rentals and they, they do retail. So they sell uh, motorhomes, vans as well. So yeah. yeah, we thought we'd come down and check out and see what they've actually got in stock. So the company is called Abacus and they like to see themselves like Lisa, but they like to see themselves as a one-stop shop. So you yeah. can get everything done with your motorhome in the one area. You can leave it here and, and it will be sorted for you rather than having to go here, there and everywhere. Yeah. So And it's good. So they're, they're disrupting the market slightly, I think, because you know, having a one-stop shop that's reliable and trusting, yeah. um, that's, that's ideal. But they have been going for around 40 years. It's a family-run business. Uh, and I believe they started in rental. Yes, they've got quite, if you say 80, 800, did he say vans or 80 Ooh. vans? Let's call it a lot of vans, <laughs> a lot of rental remember. vans. He said he's yeah. got a lot, a lot of um, uh, rental vans and, and they pride themselves on that, don't they? So, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I trust the guys when I bring them uh, the Contiki down here. Um, and I'm quite happy to leave it with them to get the repairs done that's needed and all the warranty repairs that have been done is second to none so it's, it's ideal. Yeah. They're, they're, a Dorset, they're a Dorset base originally aren't they? That's where the head so. office yes, is. I believe um, so. But we're just lucky that this is like really close to us Yeah. Um, so I'm happy for that. <laughs> so they've got quite a few vans now they've been doing it for three years the um, sales side aren't yes, they? Yes they have the retail side but yeah. these, these vans here and it goes all around the side as well so there's quite a few. We're going to have a look in the uh, Voyager, yeah, aren't we? So, it's a 485. Looks like it's got overhead on it as well. Cab. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. We're we'll going to have a look. It does not it? Yeah. But, so this is on the uh, the Ford chassis, isn't it? Yeah. Voyager. Oh, about Swift as well. Is all their doors now, they're nice and wide, so it gives you easy access. Um, so you've got your dining area as soon as you come in, Lee? Yeah, that's quite a nice dining area. Get your table out from there. Yeah, and I'm assuming the table will be hidden in the boot or there'll be some locker space, but we'll find we'll that We'll find out that in a minute. In a minute. So, ah, so look at the bed. So that's what they've done up there now. See, I'm trying to go to the cab, but this is the <laughs> female way of doing things. Yeah, but when you can see something, you want to know more. <laughs> okay, so, so that's the... Um, that's the other cab bed that they've got in here now. Yeah. So I see you've got a light up there and you've got your window. And it does seem like a lot more space, doesn't it, than um, yeah. I suppose what they used to be yeah. uh, like. It was always quite tight on one end, but it's actually not too bad. Do you know what I like about it? They've got this cupboard here, right, yeah. which gives space here and up here so that you're not banging your head on the bed. Yeah. Or it's not intruding on your headspace because if I walk back, that's not intruding your headspace. The skylight's up there. Yeah. The kitchen area is here. Yeah. So even when the bed is down like that, and then when it's up, yeah, I like that. So looking at the uh, the seats then. I am wondering if it's a, um, a swivel seat, but it doesn't look like it. I can't see no way to swivel the seat round, which is a bit of a shame, actually. It might be, um, though. We might not have found it. <laughs> yeah, so obviously the Ford cab, a bit different from the Fiat cabs, um, but you've got all your um, steering wheel controls and everything like that. And you've got to remember the Voyagers is one of their basic models, really. For the price, it's pretty good. But you've still got your um, monitor screen there. Looks like you've got air con and stuff like that. Um, USB and 12 volt just down there. So for the cab, it ain't actually too bad. I do like what they've done here because as I was saying before with that cupboard, because they've been able to move this right back and it's not, the cab would normally be across in, it'd be in the mm. way of this. Because they've lifted it and not done it as a traditional cab and it's made, and they've brought that out bigger as well because normally that would have been a bit shorter cab area. So they've played with this space really well to be able to sit down here and have that over the top of you as well and not uh, and not touch your head. I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. So So look at some of the features then. You've got your plug sockets either side. So you've got 
a plug socket there so your 12 volt you've got the reading lamps as well um, decent cupboard space now the kitchen's quite good as well for this size kind of mud home. It, it does yeah. feel spacious in here, doesn't it? I don't know how long this mud home is. We'll have, to we'll have a look at the... Because uh, it does front. seem a bit shorter than ours, mm. um, but it looks like they've used the views of space really, really well. Right. Um, th this kitchen's good. It's got, got some good cupboards, sizes. Yeah, nice cupboards. Um, I mean, this has got like two cupboards. Two cupboards. One above each other, which I've never seen before. I haven't seen that personally before. No. That's quite good. So, I mean, looking at some of the features then, you've got the Truma, um, sort of Truma heating, looking at that, and you've got the sort of, the basic style control panel above the door. Normal size kitchen, which is quite good, and you do have at the end this extra space, uh, like you do on ours, um, which is really good as well. Yeah, it's quite solid actually. Yeah, that was that's quite good. So that would give you that space and once you've got the like chopping board bit on the top of there. Um does that go down alright? Yeah. Yeah. And then they've got drawers here. So this is what Swift are doing now. Instead of doing the under cupboard, they're doing under sink cupboard, they're doing drawers. Um that we've seen and they they soft close as well. Oh that's a cupboard, the bottom one. Right. Yeah, so obviously this is a Voyager, isn't it? So it's going to be slightly different. Oh, well, that's not soft it close. Seems to be, it just <laughs> seems to be spacious. It I'm does, noticing, doesn't it? I'm noticing here as well, look, you've got um, USB points underneath. Oh yeah. yeah. Which is good. Um, and then you've got a wet room with the sink that comes down. Which I think a good idea so that when you're having your shower you've got your room. They're utilising the space well and, and that, that's yeah. always good to see. And then they've got the, the twin beds which I like on the Swift models because you can, um, I don't know if you can pull this out can you Lee, I don't think you can, that's just your infill there isn't it, so it doesn't come out as a full double does it? No. But you can use that space there or you can put a little cupboard in there or something but you do have your uh, shelves at the end as well. And then you've got your underbed storage cupboards. And I like, this say what I like about these are these steps cupboards, just like your little hidey holes, which I think are great. I'd soon have them filled up. <laughs> and then, oh look, another little cupboard under here. Oh, I like the way they've done these. Um, and then what would we, is it the same? Oh, you've got more in there. Okay, and then you've got your s standard fridge that comes with them now for the Swift dual opening. A uh, big cupboard above there, pan drawer, I think, down there. And let me stand at the back so we can see down the van. What do you guys think of the Voyager? How much is it again? I'm going to have a little look. Now. Yeah, let's go and have a look how much it is. So just shy of um, 70,000, so 69495. Um, what, um, is it brand new, isn't it? It possibly is brand new, it looks it. I'll sort of give you an idea of the size as we go down. So but it got, looks it looks about just over six meters this yeah, one doesn't it even really? though it's still the basic yeah. model you've got the um electric you've got your shower unit that's for your toilet cassette obviously you've got your truma um vent your heating and water add water there you've actually got your external pump um, electric bit for your well pump or something like that if you need to pump water in from a container so that's a big garbage Probably yeah, got quite a big garage because be they've big. got the yeah. Um, yeah. high beds. LPG. Now, being new, you probably have to add your own bottles. Um, even got an external barbecue pump, which is great. So, if you're interested in the Voyager, uh, give Abbas a, a call. We'll put the uh, link and the phone number in the description. Right, we're going to have a look at um, an Adria now, aren't we? Yeah, let's go. So, what we got here, we're going to show you a bit of a beast here. Big one, twin axle. It's um, probably just shy of nine meters. It's the supersonic Adria. Um, 
890 LL. So we're getting there. Does that mean like lounge lounge or something? LL? I don't know Adria's very well. Size of vents. <laughs> yeah. Massive. That's going to give you a big fridge straight away without even going inside. So we'll Should go inside, inside first and then we'll give you the price and everything afterwards. Oh, very nice as you come in. Okay, wipe your feet. Wipe, wipe your feet. <laughs> we're in the mat. Oh, very nice. A class. Look at the size of this. Obviously, these are purpose built um, from from start to finish, really. Now it is very spacious. I'm taking my shoes off. <laughs> One second. Yeah, go on. It is very spacious. It looks to me. Is, it, is that a drop down? It doesn't look like one. No. No. Okay. But um... I'm not saying it isn't. Oh, yeah, it might so be. It might be. Cap. It actually is. It actually is something because I can see screwed up. That's a drop down. Covers right? then, or, or uh, curtains or something up there. Yeah, that's. It's like you pull a curtain. It's like a curtain rail. I don't know, but if you can see up there, I believe that's a curtain rail, and this is a drop down bed. Yeah, that's a, a little drop down bed. These are fold down, so this will give you a, a front bed as such. Um, as I just said, it's the Mercedes um, cab or engine and all their little gadgets there. So it's all nice and posh. Nice big table, nice seating area. Um, you could see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people comfortably around there. And decent headspace. So you've got all your... And your cupboards are slightly um, curved, aren't they? Which is... How do you... Um... Push. I reckon push. No. Ah, there's a clip underneath. Ah, uh, so yeah, they're quite... So there, there is plenty of plenty of room in here for storage, looking at that. But I like the way they've done all that, the lining on it, and, and it look, makes it look like more posh, you know. But this is like massive, I mean, look at that, your kitchen space. That's really good. Yeah, I mean... It's all good quality as well, isn't it? It's lovely, and look how deep that sink is. No, so you've got all that there to yeah. sh splash it around. And then you've got your three hob burners, gas. And again, more more cupboard space Is that a up coffee here. maker? They've got a coffee maker. It looks that, yeah. that way. I think they're coming more and more common, actually, the yeah. coffee makers. And then you've got these big sturdy drawers. Look at yeah, these. Plenty of drawer space here. Yeah, yeah. And it's nice carpet actually. I've took my shoes off and the carpet's really comfy. Well, that ain't too bad. So the oven, yeah. the oven itself, they're usually up quite high, aren't they? But it's not too bad. Yeah, that's a good height again, actually. So that's a cupboard. So all yeah. your pots and pans and whatnot can go in there, and you've got your oven space there. And just underneath your oven, and this is a, a double opening fridge freezer, separate freezer. Nice size, isn't it? God, that's huge. Yeah, that's a big one. So what's this big cupboard all about then? Are they all push? Oh, they are. Yeah. Wardrobe. Oh, big wardrobe. Yeah, you've got ample storage space. Oh, thank you. How am I getting it? For all your clothes. <laughs> and then you even got your air con above you. Look. Oh, okay. Air con. I'm showing the air con. <laughs> We've got so much to see, we're just uh, one person seeing one, one seeing another. Yeah. But in here, this is your shower, but I don't know how to get into it. Ah, I don't want to break it. So this is a shower. Nice big skylight up there. Oh, you've even got up here um, a rack for your towels. It's really good. And then you've got this down here for all your bottles and toiletry things you need. And there's, that's your um, shower base. Oh, that's a radiator behind there. That's a radiator. Is it? Behind the shower. So where's the toilet then? So it's a separate shower. Yeah. You don't have to use so this. I'm just shower. wondering, actually, two seconds before we move on to the toilet. So I was thinking to myself, well, what happens if someone's in there and wants their shower? Because I know you're not going to be wanting everyone in the front room to see. Oh, good point. So looking at this, this will shut across I reckon. I can't hear him anymore. There we go. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. 
Lee, can yeah. you please open the door? Because I'm in the mirror. Oh. <laughs> I'm in the mirror. Oh, yeah. It's the mirror on the back of that. <laughs> well, that's really good. Wow. That is absolutely spot on. So you've got all this space here, toilet, basin, shower. I mean, oh, look at that space. Yes, it's on a step. Um, I don't know if you can swivel it at all. Yes, you can. So you, you've got, you want to step a little bit. Um, You've got a nice sink there. So let's push that. So first off, you've got a cupboard up here. Oh, wow. I'm not what you want about now. I don't think that one opens. It's maybe just got something like oh, a rid. Not. No, you just need to. Ah. And, do the clip. and that's what I was looking for. Oh, and they've got the bars on there to stop things falling off, which is great. Yeah. That and, is actually... And then you've got these really panels nice here, haven't you? Even more. Yeah, loads of storage in here. And then even yeah. another one down here. This and is a really here. nice van. This is a van you can live in, isn't it? Definitely. Oh, easily, yeah. This is a proper, like... This is probably bigger than some flats out there. Yeah, and then I mean, look at the... Well, I'll let you show them the rear. <laughs> These are a bit lower than the ones in the Swift. Still like them. Plenty of room um, to look at. So the skylight up at the top. Um, loads of space here. You've got the infill cushions. I think we'd have another cushion there that this might even come out even further. I'm not sure. Um, but you've got you know, you've got three big cupboards above you. You have got drawers and things below. Um, you may even even have. Let me have a look underneath the little nice little carpet bits. Yep, cupboards under the stairs. And I take it they've got three big cupboards like that. Yes. And you have these drawers here. Big drawers. One, two, that one probably doesn't do it. And then this big under cupboard. Um, I don't know how that shuts. Ah. I mean, what does that do? Okay. Oh. Right, okay. That's cleverly. See, something else is clever. Come and see this. So open that door. Open what that door. door. Just yeah. open it, yeah, out, and then push it in. It slides in. All right. Oh, that is clever, isn't it? Yeah. And then you've got all that space under there. Wow. It looks like it's got a form of Audi heating as well. Are we, are we going to swap our van for this? I really like it. Oh, look, you've got a slidey door here, Lay. Okay, so there's your bedroom shut off then. Yeah, so if you wanted to shut, that's good, isn't it? Oh. And then can you've got I, another Can I show cupboard. you something else? That's yeah, I'm going to, just showing them in there, another cupboard. And I think you've got TV point and that over there. Um, Nice big windows each side. No, I really like this. Yeah, yeah like this is really, really nice. This is like, I think it's got a nice price tag as well. We'll show you that in a minute. Look at this table. What could be clever about this table then? It folds in half. Oh, that's the standard, isn't it? Oh, it comes out even bigger. Yeah. And then obviously that lift up and then That'd be ah, a big table that's really for nice, you. isn't it? For Christmas dinners. So it only comes out once a year, then. Yeah, yeah. Once a year, yeah. <laughs> you won't get it all round, will you? But no, lovely van. So yeah, let's show you outside, and we'll show you the price tag, shall we? It's a lovely looking A-class, to be it's honest. A beautiful motorhome. Really and it's a hundred and seventy-eight thousand pounds. It's on a twenty-three plate, so it is new. Um, and I would say just shy of nine meters if not yeah. nine meters um, long so lovely very nice very nice they have actually got one of these inside that's not twin axle for 160 I think it's newer as well yeah um, in the showroom so another thing um, we've been pointed out since we've been here is um, only recently they're part of the uh, caravan and motorhome and club um, ie they have partnered with them so you can see here you can get free membership if you uh, uh, purchase a new outfit from Abacus here on site. Uh, along with that, obviously, you get all your 10% discount on stuff, but I believe you get your 10% discount here as well. 
um, on maintenance stuff that needs doing. So, yeah, just to point that out. And if you uh, do you want the scan, the there, yeah. you can you can scan that, and it give you all the information you need. If you do come in here um, and you are looking around the homes or you've got any business around here, they've got like a little coffee area that you can come into and help yourself to a free coffee, which is good. Yeah, so they are very welcoming um, and happy to spend some time with you to go through different layouts, different style of motorhome, vans or motorhomes, and um, yeah, just to so you can pick the right one and be comfortable within your environment. Uh, and have plenty of coffee doing so. With the uh, the amount of motorhomes they've got, they've extended their showroom slightly into this area, but this is actually the original handover area, so it's now the showroom slash handover area. So when you do a handover here, you can actually do it with inside, um, with inside the building. So yeah, let's take a look at the Monza. We've got a few vans in here. We've seen, seen these before on our channel. So look at this view. I think they're doing uh, an actual uh, a deal on this at the moment, so you're saving £1,500 on this price. Along with that, I believe you're getting the awning, which is worth just under £1,000 for free. Um, that's all part of the, the deal going on here. So yeah, your classic pop top. This setup looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah, you've got your awning here. It's a nice size awning, actually. Oh no, that's you, Foot Day. You're going to send me to get you a coffee now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you... This, this is, is quite idea. nice, isn't it? Because you've got little window bits there. Yeah, you know, like if, I, if I had one of these vans, I'd be looking at an awning definitely because I don't think. I could understand I'd be in the van if I was just doing a night stop somewhere, mm. then I'd just stay in the van. But if I'm out on a campsite or something like that, I'd definitely have to have an awning just to, you know, extend. Um, the living space. I think this would be good for Colin, who's me and my van on YouTube. Deal. Yeah, because yeah. because he's got this uh, VW, and yeah. I think one of these would just make it so much more spacious for yeah, him. Especially with all the new mm. air, you know, yeah. systems. It's, it's, it's easier simple to, to put. It's simple. easier to put up. Yeah. Maybe not simple then, but easier. <laughs> um, so let's go and have a look in the van. It's a little bit like the style of the VW. I think this is um, a rock and roll bed still. I'm not too sure. Is it rock and roll bed? Looks like it. Enjoy it yeah, it looks like it. But you can pull it for it's on the runners. You'll look. Be able to tell if you look over the other side. So yeah, that is. It's got the runners up. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's definitely the, a bed you pull out. Yeah. Then you've got the two swivel seats, which are really good. Oh, that's look very shiny cab there. And then you have the sink and the two hops some sockets and switches up there Ooh. cupboard space you've even got a cupboard at the rear here or headrests um yeah, oh, yeah, for travelling. Yeah, yeah, nice deep space down into that. Oh, that's that why it's on a runner, so that you can have more space at the back if needed as well. Yeah. Yeah. It looks that way. Um, curtains and all windows. So you've got quite a bit of space at the back. We have pulled, this looks like it's pulled forward a little bit anyway. You would have to go back for these cupboards, so it would be further back normally because of these cupboards, but it's obviously ready for the making into the bed position, um, I would yeah. imagine. I so. think without the pop top, it'd be, for me, it'd be a difficult van to, to be in, but- well, know, That's why they've got pop tops out. Yeah. That's yeah. the reason. And not all of them, yeah. have, not the older type, not all of them, but you know, with the pop top- Well now, it creates what I mean. a yeah. lot of space. So, but that's why they have the pop tops though. So if people that don't want to get a crooked neck and <laughs> walking around in the van, they can have the pop top option. But this is really nice, look. It is lovely. I think this is a little, oh, pull out. Fridge. Fridge. Fridge with a little freezer yeah. compartment. Yeah, that's what that is. Yep, yeah, I don't want to put it out too much, guys. Can't get back in. Oh, and a big drawer. But a lot of these size vans are quite similar 
looking anyway, aren't they? they because are. they can only you can only like really get so much in certain ways because all, of all the mechanics of how you put how you have to have yeah. things together to make it work right. Um, mm. I've seen lots of different. So when we do the people do self conversions, I love what ideas they come out with. It's yeah, really definitely. good. Yeah. But definitely. when they're putting them out to retail and they're done on the masses, you seem to find quite similar layouts, don't you? Yeah, you can do every, this. every yeah. time, you know, there's new ideas coming out from, from these. But yeah. um but I think, you know, best bet is, you know, we could be here all day looking at all different type of motorhomes. There's quite a few in selection here and it's definitely worth yeah. if you're in the air and over area, mm -hmm. um, getting yourself down to Abacus, um, they will look after you and, and you know look around some vans. The prices here are quite reasonable as well. They're not all out of the, the you know the high figures um, and there is vans that are affordable really. So Yeah, so if you're just looking for future and want to see what's out there, sort of what prices or you're mm. looking to upgrade or completely um, or just hire one, just hire one out and yeah. go and try it, you know, um, come, I'm sure come and do well. that. Yeah. Um, I mean, he did say with the Camping and Motorhoming Club, they, they, I believe they can do a, a stopover for you. Yeah. Um, and you can rent out, so maybe rent out the layout you're thinking of, because it yeah. may not be for you. And yeah. then um, rent out from Abacus, buy from Abacus, it's a great, great deal. Yeah, so if you're in this area, it's definitely worth it. Come down and see the guys here. And just mention that we sent you. Yeah, just mention <laughs> Life's for Touring. Um, we don't get anything from it. It's just, but, to, um, just to know that um, this video has, has obviously sent somebody to them. That's all. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. That's it. We're going to finish this one here, I think, darling. We'll finish this one here. But before we do... <gasps> Oh, yeah, before yes. we do, so Paul Dean, I know you're out there and it was your birthday yesterday on the 20th of March. So we just want to wish you a happy birthday and that was Dawn that uh, asked for that to happen. Yeah. So you can thank Dawn for that. You've been following us for a while so we thank you very much for that. Hope you had a really good birthday yesterday and that Dawn spoiled you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on that note, um, thank you again for everyone that supports in the channel everyone that tunes in every Thursday and we will see you on the next one until then bye see ya